Hi Virgo, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is going to be another love reading for you. I hope this video finds you well, you're safe, you're healthy, you're happy. Um, yeah, we're going to see what messages are here for you when it comes to your love life. Um, and we're going to get you some advice at the end. This will not resonate with every single Virgo. Please take it how it resonates, don't force it to fit. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I kindly ask you to join the family, subscribe, and um, yeah, we'll get a crack in. All right, so let's see what messages are here for you. Uh, I've already prayed and shuffled, so we're just going to cut the deck and see what messages are here. What do we have? We have the Five of Pentacles. Ooh. The Five of Wands. The Temperance. Okay. And the Magician. And your advice from the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. So what's the underlying energy? We have the Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups. So this is all about that romantic, emotional, uh, like ideal person, ideal situation. It's all about following your heart. Um, this can be a love offer. Um, yeah, it's just a romantic uh, card. <laughs> okay, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's water energy. So, you're, the Wheel of Fortune, wow, as your advice. So, let's come back to this at the end of the video. We'll clarify and see what advice is here for you. In the meantime, messages that are here for you. I feel like somebody either feels left out in the cold, rejected, or they, someone's in despair. Um, Sorry if this is all cricket and stuff. <laughs> um, Yeah, and, and perhaps there was some sort of argument or conflict between you and your love interest but I like that the magician is here and I like that the temperance is here it's like a, it, it balances everything out I feel like someone is trying to do something make something happen um we'll clarify to see what that is or the dynamic of this magician could be manifesting stuff something making something happen for yourself okay um, the temperance is just balance and healing and doing things in moderation. It feels like it just calms everything down. All of this despair, all of the, this conflict here, the struggle, the arguments. The temperance comes in and like mellows everything out. So let's clarify these and see what the messages are. What's, you know, here further and deeper. Okay, the five wise of five of pentacles here. This is all about feeling despair, feeling two of pentacles, someone feeling left out. Could be something imbalanced, of course, with that two of pentacles, definitely um, an imbalance. Why the two of pentacles? Oh, okay. So perhaps, Virgo, you are in a long-term committed relationship. You guys are very stable, like you've been together for a while. There's legacy here. You guys, you know. Mm, could have a family, like children, a home, like I get businesses here. Um, maybe there's a lot you're juggling when it comes to this relationship. Why the five of wands? Why the five of wands? Ooh, the queen of pentacles. Wow, just really, really flew out. That could be your energy. That could be your partner's energy. It could be dealing with the fellow, fellow earth sign. Why the queen of pentacles? Uh-oh, I dropped the card. Hold on. Let me ask again. Why the Queen of Pentacles? This could be a spouse, mother of your child. Oh, okay. I mean, are you juggling new the newness of this, the beginning of this? And it's very beautiful. I feel like you guys are emotionally connected and drawn to each other. There could be definitely a lot of emotion, but you guys have a conflict. There's something here that you're struggling with. Why the temperance? Why do I feel like it's long-term commitment? Uh-oh, yeah, that's right. So we have the King of Swords here with the Hangman. So someone is making a very big decision, I feel. There's this decisive energy with the King of Swords is like making a big decision, um, something definitive, something concrete, like, you know, no horseplay, all truth, um, you know, something serious, something in control. With the Hangman, it's like maybe looking at it from a different perspective, trying to figure it out. What's the best way to do it? Hmm. 
yeah why the magician but it feels very balanced okay with the temperance there Ooh, the Ten of Wands, but something is heavy. I, whatever you're juggling, it feels heavy. Why the Ten of Wands? You feel guilty, you feel stressed, you feel shameful, you feel something. Okay, you got the Eight of Pentacles. I like that because that means, with the see the Magician, to me, feels like you're, you're going to make something happen. You're going to fix something with that Eight of Pentacles. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Like something is, ooh, okay. The Devil Energy. If you're feeling stuck or fearful, that devil card could be something you're trying to fix, something that's not working, something that's unhealthy. And it could be something unhealthy. It could be something even toxic because, you know, of the five of pentacles and the five of wands. Um, but I think this is your energy of trying to mellow things out, trying to trying to get the two of you on a better page or something more calmer okay let's see what is the energy of that five of pentacles okay the king of wands um why the king of wands king of wands aries leo sag why the king of wands okay the nine of pentacles why do, I feel like this has a lot to do with stability or money or something long term, something, some type of financial thing. Because the king of pentacles can be, I mean, I'm sorry, the king of wands can be very career driven. So maybe this is about being able to provide. What's the energy of the five of wands? Why are you guys, why, why is there conflict here? The chariot. Moving forward, progressing forward. Are, are you guys kind of stagnant? Are you kind of, you know stuck in a certain place why the chariot stuck no movement forward why the chariot wow whoa okay perhaps you guys perhaps what is this okay page of pentacles so i feel like you, you guys are struggling to progress in this relationship maybe to take it to the next level uh, perhaps someone is still single, wants to still be single. Maybe that's you, Virgo. Maybe that's your other love interest. But so, someone here has emotion. I mean, I'm seeing emotion here. Um, I'm seeing feelings. Could be love, you know? Um, but with that six of swords in reverse, it's like a lot of difficulty. You're trying to progress and move past all the difficulty. Because obviously you are struggling with something with the five of wands. There's conflict there's arguments um and i feel perhaps you just want to just move forward move out of this and here's a page of pentacles like let's just maybe have a conversation like i have a new idea i have something this could i feel like this is your energy virgo because you do have this energy of fixing you know tempering uh, mellowing the situation out you know what i mean like let's just talk i get that with the page of pentacles like let's just talk okay Let's just talk. Let's communicate. All right. What's the energy of the temperance? Okay. So. So I do get the heavy feeling. The, the feeling like uh, things are pretty. Mm, with the five of cups. There's a sad energy here. There could be. You could be dwelling on the negative. But at that. But the two of wands. I mean I love your energy. I love this fix it thing. I love this. Let me, let me figure something out. You know what I mean? A lot of thinking like, how can I, how can we do this? How can we fix this? That's a dope energy to be in. What's the energy of the magician? What's the energy of the magician? I mean, that was too many cards. What's the energy of the magician? I love your energy. Oh my God, I do. I really love it. There it is. Oh my God. Yes, Virgo, the lovers with the Ten of Cups, you cannot beat that. You're, you're trying to make some really life-changing decisions. I feel like you want to be happy with whoever you're with. The person that you're with is like, I don't want us to argue. I don't want us to be fighting. I want us to get along. I want us to move past our issues and our difficulties and our obstacles and our struggles and our arguments. And I want to love you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you love this person. Like You, you have a, a connection with this person. And you're like, I, I want to be with you. I love it. Yay. Okay, so let's get your 
<laughs> let's get your advice let's see what you should be doing look you have the knight of cups at the bottom this just tells me with the star yes you want to be the romantic person it's like i rather love you i rather give you my cup of love than my cup of arguments and disagreements and struggle okay all right hold on guys okay your advice sorry i had to um sorry i keep bumping this thing let's see so you have the will of fortune that's a good card to have that's all about um things happening in your favor we'll see what the advice sheet says about that okay the will of there it is the will of fortune okay will of fortune says this card advises to seek change get the ball rolling be bold take initiative the more willing you are to push for change the better create your own luck and don't blow it you know what i always say this i don't know if i've said it on a virgo reading um but i love when you your advice is to do something you're already doing it just tells me you're already on the right path like what you're doing i feel like that's what you're doing you're being but you're like look i'm trying to fix this i'm trying to make this happen you have the magician you know what i mean you have the temperance card so oh you have the eight of pentacles it's like all action okay so i love that why the will of fortune i love it i love it i love it hey and god forbid but if it doesn't work out the way you want it you gave your all you can't say i know i don't know what it could have been it's like no you're doing it you're you're putting yourself out there and you're trying to make it work okay why the will of fortune i didn't see that it did, wouldn't work i'm just saying I, I get a lot of people you know i know a lot of people don't try for things because they're afraid that it may not work but it's better to know that than not know that okay why the will of fortune okay because somebody with the queen of pentacles in reverse it's like someone i don't know if they feel stuck or they feel like they don't have a lot of trust or confidence in this relationship why the queen of pentacles reverse the queen of swords okay someone has someone is acting cold perhaps someone maybe someone has some choice words someone with the temperance why the temperance and if there's something you have done because i'm like okay well why is this person going cold why are they not trusting the connection or there's there's something here they could be jealous they could be feeling neglected i don't know They're, this car this queen of pentacles in reverse is literally a lot of different things and for your person to feel this way or you could feel this way somebody feels this way i have to ask well, why do they feel that way because i feel like someone did something and if it's not if it's you virgo who had done who's done something i feel like i see you trying to fix or right your wrong okay why the temperance sagittarius energy and this is just healing the situation why the temperance why the temperance the queen of cups okay okay because you know what i just feel like there's a lot of love here but the relationship oh man i just feel like there's love here there's a need to heal this connection even with the hair font reversed whether it's you or the other person i feel like what's going to make this work is sometimes you have to throw out the traditional stuff you know, and this is not for every person, but I think we all can um, take heed to this, what I'm about to say, at some point in our life because we sometimes have expectations or we want it to look a certain way. And so sometimes that's not how it's going to play out. And I feel like the Hierophant in Reverse is telling, telling us that. Like, you know what? You may not have that traditional thing. It may not be... Um, that conventional type of scenario or relationship it everybody may not be doing things the way that you're doing it and it's okay you know what i'm saying because if you have certain key elements that's all you need i feel like 
you have healing here you have love here um somebody's a little cold but you have the will of fortune this means that things can work out for you okay like cycles can change and progress forward like there's destiny here this is good fortune but i think spirit wants you to know like hey things may not be how th how they are in the movies or how we've always done it in tradition or you know what I mean? How everybody expect it to, expects it to be done. You might have to do it your way or do it in a way that works for the two of you. All right. Okay, Virgo. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope this works out for you. Uh, sending you all uh, so much love and, and just good luck with this. Okay. I'll talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.